starts now. Good evening. A St. George teenager is facing several charges tonight after police say he got drunk, stole his sister's car, then smashed into a house early this morning. Yeah, the car burst into flames and that fire began spreading then to the house where family was sleeping inside. This specialist Alex Cabrero is on the story for us tonight. Alex, everyone OK, right? Right, Mike, that is the good news that everybody is OK in this. The bad news, there is a lot of fire damage and the family says they lost almost everything inside. It would be enough to wake up even the deepest sleeper. A car with its tires screeching to try and get out. And the driver yelling for help. It's exactly what the father of the family who lives here saw after running downstairs just after the impact. The loudest, most eerie, scary sound which uh, startled them all awake. Elizabeth Smith doesn't live in this house, but her daughter, grandchildren, and son-in-law do, and talks about that moment when her son-in-law saw what had happened. Started yelling for all the kids to wake up, come downstairs, get out. That's because the car started burning after smashing into the house, and the fire started spreading to the house. And these kids were running outside in, in their underwear. That's all they had out the back door. They made it out okay, but the driver of the car was trapped. A neighbor heard his screams, ran over, and got him out. It's kind of scary because um, you got this car on fire, and you don't know if it's going to explode. That neighbor got the driver to safety. It turns out he was 14 years old, and according to St. George Police, he had gotten drunk, stole his sister's car, and then, for some reason, smashed into this house. The fire did plenty of damage. It's crazy because they've lost almost everything they own. Um, a little four-year-old just all of a sudden will think of a toy that she lost and start crying, and it's really hard on this family. St. George police say the teenager was cited for DUI, no driver's license, as well as traffic and curfew violations. The family says the house is a total loss, but they are thankful that everybody made it out okay. Mike and Dini. Yeah, so many levels to that story, but as you mentioned there, just glad everyone's okay tonight. Alex.